Okay, I've got a kitty this morning in my garden that's attacking this snake. This is midnight, and he guards our garden. He's standing in front of one onion that was left over from summer and a whole bunch of broccoli that's growing like crazy. It's probably 14 inches tall. It's only been in the ground for three weeks. So uh, I'm posting this garden update. There's, oh, that's socks over there. You can see why he's socks. He's got socks on his feet. He looks like it. Um, these are collards over here. The reason I'm posting this is to show just the amazing growth and tell you, you know, what resulted in this. Uh, here again, more broccoli on this side. Over here, collards. And so you can see from the, the cats, as a point of reference, how tall those collards are. Some of them 14, 16 inches tall. They've only been in the ground th three weeks or what? And those are kittens. Well, they are kittens, but they're six, they're six months old. They're almost full-grown cats. They're going to be just kind of little cats. Uh, Nikki's out here with me. This is spinach over here. Everything was planted at the same time. Spinach is growing a little slow, but actually it's growing about as fast as I thought it would. It's just the collards really love this. And what I did, I took our uh, kind of normal soil that's over here and I had some miracle Grow garden soil mixed in with that. I did have a bunch of peppers and things planted over here. So uh, what I did to kind of replenish the soil I just mixed, you know, fairly generous, but not over too much, a bit of, uh, I guess what I could say, like it's probably a handful every 10, eight or 10 feet of 10, 10, 10 fertilizer into that. Then I mixed it up with the miracle Grow garden soil and the regular soil that was here. And so collards clearly love that, absolutely, because these, some of these are ready to eat after three weeks being planted. I mean, they were three inch tall, maybe two and a half inch tall collard plants just three weeks ago. And the kale over here is doing pretty well too. I could, we could actually go ahead and pick some baby kale if we wanted to and eat it in a salad. So it might be good for us to use some of this just to thin it out a little bit. So that's what we have here. This is where I dug all my sweet potatoes up. I'm not reworked it yet. I just kind of left it this week, today, maybe, or, t uh, or tomorrow. I'll go out and I'll uh, make sure I've got all the sweet potatoes out because I dug most of this by hand. So I'll, uh, I'll work through this again. And we ended up with probably, I'm guessing, 80 or 90, uh, I'd say maybe 90 to 100 pounds of sweet potatoes out of where we dug here and where we dug over there. I'm still not sure we've got all the sweet potatoes up from here because every time I come out with that little fork thing there and try to get a few more, I find more. So really good year for sweet potatoes. This is a uh, uh, Brussels sprouts over here that are just getting started. Have we planted them maybe two weeks ago? and they're looking pretty healthy along with the asparagus. So this is first year asparagus here. And I'm gonna eat just a little bit of this. This right here, if you ever get your asparagus people and you got these little, you, know, you can eat these little ends off this. Oh man, that is outstanding. That's really good, Nikki. <laughs> so this older stuff, we actually start eating the spears this year of it. So we're gonna have our broccoli for our winter garden. And we're going to have our uh, our collards we're going to start eating very soon. And we'll have spinach and kale and all this down here. I'm going to rework that and probably plant more collards in it because it looks like the collards really do great and we love to eat them. Uh, maybe some more spinach too. Down here on this end, I may just uh, get it super weeded out. And I don't know if I'll plant anything or not down here. We might just let it rest and replant with our uh, sweet potatoes next year. I know you're not supposed to plant the same thing over and over again in a place, but two years in a row we've planted sweet potatoes over here and they've done great. I had some monsters out of here this year. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll rotate out uh, next spring and put something else. So we just got some stuff laying around we got to clean up too. So that's, where I that's where I pulled the sweet, potatoes vi sweet potato vines out. And I need to do some raking for sure. So this is it. This is the garden. Uh, getting ready to add some more stuff for winter. And so hopefully this will feed us all winter long.